reject this. I am a very active person. I love to play with my kids. From last one year, I started getting pain in my back. And uh, for this also, I already consulted a few doctors. So what they have asked is like this might be for long sitting hours in office. So they try to give some muscle relaxant medicines and uh, which was actually giving a solution for me for temporarily, but it was not coming out to, uh, fully so again I, I used to get the back pain so what happened in November is like uh, I got back pain and I consulted a spine specialist um, so the spine specialist uh, again he was also asked me for go for physiotherapy and uh, he also asked me to get some uh, muscle relaxation medicines but uh, the pain was not going out at all so it was 24 by 7 and the pain was actually spreading to my legs towards my knee uh, then, then the doctor asked me to do a MRI. So in MRI, they are, they are suspecting that uh, there might be some cancer or there might be some uh, tumors in my spine, so which is causing this pain. Me and my friends decided let's go for a second opinion. So then we come to Manipal. So next day we met Dr. Bopona and uh, so he is a doctor. Uh, what I can say is like. He is actually coordinating with other doctors. He was taking the view of the other doctors while diagnosis also. They found that this is a case of paragangolioma and doctor gave, gave me a confidence that uh, no need to worry for uh, that it's not a life threatening and we are going to cure it. I used to come to Manipal. I used to look at the board on the top of the Manipal. So Manipal life is on. So I used to always think about like whether uh, Really, the life is on. I'll, they, they'll be able to save my life. This young gentleman who came to us with severe backache and pain radiating down his legs had a tumor that was potentially curable in his spine. And we were surprised to find the uh, way it presented was very unusual with a long standing history of hypertension, and his backache actually followed much later. Now, when you are presented with an unusual diagnosis, which is difficult in such instances, it takes a multidisciplinary team. On MRI, it showed uh, there is a large tumor involving the lumbar vertebral body, L2. And it was spreading to the abdomen, we call it retropinal structure, as well as causing compression of the dural tubes, nerve structures. And subsequently, he underwent a biopsy, which revealed uh, there is a paraganglinoma. Paraganglinomas are very rare tumors in the vertebral bodies. And not only that, they are very highly vascular. Highly vascular in term means they bleed a lot during the surgery. These uh, paraganglionomas can be of two types. Either they secrete hormones which can cause hormone problems or they may not secrete. In his case, he had blood pressure and he had few symptoms on discussion which I felt that we need to make sure it is either producing the hormones or not. So we sent him away to do some special investigations on his blood and urine and that revealed that indeed these paraganglionomas are secretory by which I mean it, they were producing hormones in excess. This becomes an added problem with regard to surgery because if we don't use specific medications to control blood pressure and his heart rate, during surgery when they open up this tumor and they remove it, these hormones can suddenly get into the blood circulation and a sudden surge in these hormones can cause problems with blood pressure and heart rate and it can be of severe consequence to the patient. Therefore, achieving a very good blood pressure control, heart rate control was important. So, Jagdish went on a particular group of medications so that we could achieve a good control of his blood pressure apart from ensuring he is well hydrated. We did this after he got admitted, ensured that he was in the right state physiologically to go ahead with the surgery. We did the surgery in two stages, first one from the front the oncosurgeons along with oncosurgeons, they removed the retroperitoneal stuck compartment of the tumor. And uh, before proceeding for the surgery, as I said, this tumor is highly vascular. We have to embolize this tumor. Embolize means cut off the blood supply. So our interventional radiologist, he did a embolization of this tumor where 90% of the tumor was blood supply was cut off, but still there was 10% of the tumor which the tumor would bleed. So oncosurgeons first from the front, they went and removed the part of the tumor which has spread to the uh, abdomen. And from the same sitting, we removed the completely the tumor from the front, the, it was involving the L2 vertebral body. And after that removing the body, there is an empty space. We have to put a metal cage. So metal cage was put with the bone graft material. And uh, during the surgery, his blood loss was uh, controlled with anesthetists managed the blood pressure. For anesthesiologist, it is a huge challenge to manage such patients. We, with our facilities, state-of-the-art facilities in our hospital, we could manage this patient successfully. First of all, 
we manage the blood pressure by giving proper pre-medication to the patient along with other multidisciplinary approach. During the operation, a patient's blood pressure swings were very high. So when our blood pressure was going up, we managed with nitroglycerin and nitroprusside infusions. And we also gave magnesium, labetlol, and other medications to bring down the blood pressure to normal levels. One more challenge that is faced by anesthesiologists, once the tumor is removed, the blood, blood pressure is going to crash. So for that, we managed with proper fluid loading, vasopressors after the tumor removal. During the second surgery, from the back side we went because since the body has been removed, the spine is unstable. We have to fix the spine. From the back side, we fix the spine from two level above, two level below. The pedicle screws are fixed and rods are put and fixation was successfully done. So the tumor was completely removed without much of trouble. Patient didn't have any post-operative, any deficits and he's right now walking around and without any major, major troubles. After surgery, the, all the pins are gone out. So, you know, like 24 by 7, if you feel pain in the body, you won't feel, uh, you will be disturbed in the mind and you won't be able to do anything. Even while sleeping also, you won't be uh, sleeping peacefully. So now I come out of the pain. So now all the surgery parts are also healed out also. So now I'm just doing a follow-up so that uh, that uh, in there should not be a future recurrence or if there is a future recurrence, uh, doctor assured me that you know not to worry because uh, uh, we will kill that cells uh, through radiation. So there is nothing to be worried. So you you can you can enjoy your normal life as usually what you used to do before. So what I can end with like uh, I, I, I wanted to thank Dr. Bofana, Dr. Praveen, Dr. Karthi Prabhakaran and uh, also Dr. Sabir. Thanks a lot to all these doctors like uh, they come all together, they, they coordinated each other and to make me cure. I'm really thankful to the Manipal Hospital, they really make me cure, they, they really make me normal like earlier. Very much thankful for all the support, all the staffs in Manipal. Now this kind of clinical excellence in a multidisciplinary background where we effortlessly communicate between specialities in the interest of best interests of the patient is something we excel at in Manipal Hospital.